Good morning year one. For today's maths lesson, you are learning to count coins. We'll begin with our anchor and you are going to be counting in multiples of 2, 5 and 10 to complete the missing numbers. So first of all, you're counting in 2s, then 5s, then 10s, and then back to 2s, 5s, and tens again. So pause the video now and have a go. And here are the missing numbers. So well done if you managed to get all of those. And now we're going to recap what we've been doing over the past couple of days. So can you name these coins? We're starting at the smallest value and we're working towards the greatest value. So this coin here is a one pence or a one penny. And then we've got two pence, five pence, 10 pence. Here we've got 20 pence and 50 pence and then we move on to pounds we've got a one pound here and two pounds And now we're going to count the coins to work out their value. And here we've got one pennies or one pences. So we can just count in ones. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. We need to remember to write our units on the end, which is pence. So for pence, we just write a P. And here we are counting in one pound coins. So we can still count in our ones, but because we are working with pounds instead of pence, our units at the end will be different. So let's count up how many we have got. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we use the pound sign this time instead of the penny sign. Okay, so now you're going to have a go. You're going to count up the value of these coins. Look carefully at what coin you are counting and you can count in those multiples. So pause the video now and have a go. Okay, so for the first one, we're counting in two pence coins. So we can count in twos. <coughs> so two, four, six, eight, ten. And we are counting in pence. So our unit is a P for pence. And then here we're counting in two pound coins, but we can still count in our twos. So two, four, six, eight, ten. But this time our unit is pounds. Now we are counting some different coins and the question says count these coins use a number line to help. So with the first coins, we are counting five pences. So you're going to be counting in fives. If you struggle with counting in fives, you can use the number line, which is going up in steps of five. So you just do one jump for each coin. So start on zero and if you count one, you can cross it off and do a jump and then do another and do the same until you've counted all five pences. 
With the 10 pences, you can still use the number line to help you, but you need to make sure that you are jumping two steps each time. Okay? So pause the video now and have a go, and then I will go through the answers. Okay, so starting with the five pences, we can count in our multiples of five. So we've got five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. And that's 35 pence. And then for the 10 p's, we can count in our tens. So 10, 20, 30, 40. And this time we have got 40 pence. Okay, now we've got some different coins. We've got some 20 pences and some 50 pences. So you're counting how uh, the value of the coins <coughs> that you have got. And if you're counting in 20s, on the number line, you need to be counting two steps each time. So you're counting in twenties. And for the fifties, you're doing two big jumps. Okay, so pause the video now and have a go. So if I'm counting the 20s, I'm going to do one jump to 20, cross that off, and then another jump to 40, and then another jump to 60, and finally a jump to 80. So all together there, there is 80 pence. And then with the 50 pences, I'm doing one jump to 50 and then another jump to 100 because there are two 50 pences. So all together, the value of the two 50 pences will be 100 pence, but 100 pence is the same as one pound. So we don't talk about 100 pence, we would say one pound pound instead but it is the same as 100 pence and now we're going to look at finding equal coins <coughs> so here we've got a value and we're working with 10 pences so let's see how much how what the value of these 10 pences are all together by counting in our tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So the value here is 50 pence. So the equal value, so a coin that has the same value as five 10 pences would be the 50 pence. And then here we have got four five pences. So let's work out the value of four five pences by counting in our fives. Five, 10, 15, 20. So the coin that has the same value as four five pences would be the 20 pence. So they are equal. Okay, and now you're going to have a go. So how many 10 pences have the same value as one 20 pence? And how many one pences have the same value as one five pence? Pause the video now and have a go. For the first one then, <clears throat> how many 10 pences have the same value as one 20 pence? would be two. 
So 10 add 10 equals 20. And then how many one pences have the same value as one five pence? Would be five. If we count them up, one, two, three, four, five, we have five pence here, which is the same as the other side where we've also got five pence. OK, so now we've got some different amounts and you need to work out how much money there is. So here we've got a 20 pence and a 10 pence. So if we do 20 and add on another 10, altogether there is 30 pence. Here we've got a 5 pence and then we are adding two 2 pences. So if we do 5 add 2, we know that that is 7. And then 7 add 2 is 9. So there is 9 pence altogether. And then here we've got 1 pound, a 20 pence and a 5 pence. And we need to say how many pounds there are and how many pence. Well, we know that we've only got 1 pound. And then we have got 20 and 5, so we've got 25 pence. So one pound and 25 pence. And now you're going to have a go, so you're adding up the amount here and writing your answer in the box. Pause the video now and have a go. So how much money is there? For the first one, we've got 50, 65. So altogether, there is 65 pence. For the second one, you've got 10 add 5, which is 15. 15 add 2 is 17. So you've got 17 pence. And for the fi final one, you've got 20 add 20, which is 40. And then one, two, three. So all together, there is 43 pence. Jamie thinks he has 27 pence in his purse. Is he correct? Prove it. So to work out the answer to this, we need to count up how much money Jamie actually has in his purse. So we can count in our fives to begin with and then add on the two pence at the end. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 and then add on the two is 32. So we know that Jamie is incorrect because, and then we can write these numbers added together. So five, add five, add five, add five, <coughs> add five, add five, add two, equals 32 pence. Circle the coins needed to buy the onion. We can see the onion is 16 pence. So let's see what we would need to buy it. So 5 and add 5 is 10. So we would need those. We would need two 5 pences. 
And then to make the 6 pence, we could do 2, add 2, add 2. So all together, 5, 10, 10, add 2 is 12, add 2 is 14, add 2 is 16. We would need these coins. Freddie wants to buy a pineapple. The pineapple is 47 pence. Does he have enough money? Explain your answer. So let's add up how much money Freddie has got. He's got 10, 20, 30, 40, 2, 4, 6. So Freddie has got 46 pence. He needs 47 pence to buy the pineapple, so he doesn't have enough money. He needs one pence more to be able to buy his pineapple. So Freddy does not have enough money to buy the pineapple because he only has 46 pence so needs one pence more okay and here are your silver questions for today so for question one how much money is there so you're adding up how much money there is in each box and writing the amount underneath. Look carefully at the type of coin you are working with. Sometimes you will be counting in ones, sometimes in twos and sometimes in fives. For question two, you're adding up how much money there is in each group. For question three, you are comparing the amounts of money using less than, greater than or equal to symbols. For question four, you need to decide if you agree with Sam or not. Sam has some two pence coins and she thinks she has 11 pence. And then you can talk about your answer and maybe explain by writing down your reasoning. And question five, Ron has nine two pence coins, Joe has three silver coins. Ron says, I must have more money because I have more coins. Do you agree with Ron? Talk about your answer. And again, you could write your answer down. And then for gold, you've got some reasoning and problem solving questions. And with platinum, you've got some more challenging reasoning and problem solving questions.